you know, it looks like I'm walking through the jungle, but I'm actually on a riverbed. I'm in uh, Nicaragua. Now what's uh, really been tough on this trip is that it's humid and I'm a construction site. My gear is taking a beating. During the rainy season here in Nicaragua, I would probably be underwater. So Bridges to Prosperity is this uh, nonprofit that they build bridges from and to communities like this. Hold on. So Bridges to Prosperity is doing this project here in this community because on one side of the river over there, there's a village of about 5,000 people who, during the rainy season, they're isolated from the main town over here. The kids can't go to school, people can't go to work. Um, and I gotta wear this thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is flexible. It's intended that way. It's just a basic suspension bridge without all the high tech. Right. Um, so it's flexible. Straight. And some of the locals will be uncomfortable. Yeah. There'll be a few that won't want to cross it because of that. Um, this one isn't too bad, though. You're looking at 74 meters of, uh, of, of a suspension bridge. This bridge will provide access for healthcare provide access for education, and it'll provide access for work opportunities that they wouldn't have throughout the season when the river is at high levels. But yeah, all of this is, will be full. Not sure when the peak, I think they said September or October. Yeah. This is an opportunity for me not only to just use my skills as a bridge engineer, but also give back to the community. So I was born in El Salvador and I went to the uh, United States when I was 12 years old. But one of the uh, things that I always wanted to do, I guess as a, as a kid coming from, from Central America, is uh, figure out a way to to give back to the communities where you come from. You know, this bridge would get built with or without me, but uh, it gets, uh, I get to be involved. Um, and that's one of the advantages to, to being here and being a part of it. Uh, it's just something about the hard work, kind of camaraderie comes along with it. It's to kind of immerse yourself in a culture, work, work alongside people who are from the community. In my career, I don't get to interact with the people who are affected by the projects that we work on. And so this for me has been really fulfilling. And for them, it's not just a way to get to a shopping mall or to go grab a bite to eat. It's their life. We probably run a couple guys on each side just clamping the, 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 the youth. The, the difference here, uh, a lot of it is, uh, has to do with the limitations that you have as far as equipment. Over here is the, basically where the anchorage is. So the local workers by hand dug a, a massive hole and this whole hole is filled with concrete down about, well, I don't know, 10 or 12 feet. We all worked on the towers. That was probably one of the first tasks, getting the towers lifted and the cable strung. Me and another person sat on top of the tower. We had to uh, somehow pick up the cable. So then the, the main cables, the main suspender cables are attached here to the anchor block. You can see we used seven Crosby Kira clips to attach them. So we had all this weight on top of the tower trying to balance. It was tough. The towers are per pure compression elements. So the main cables are, s are in tension. Uh -huh. and the towers are in compression and they work together. Each one of the uh, hangers that you see uh, holding the, uh, the planks are, are all made out of uh, number four rebar. And then if you look at the top here, you can see there's a, a smaller cable next to the two main cables and that's our restraint cable. And those are marked exactly a meter apart on each one so that as we slid these out and launched them that they would land in their correct position. And it's, uh, it's basically uh, about a six by two and a half inch uh, uh, deck timber that gets lagged down to, uh, to a header. And then we were working on the side doing some prefab, so I helped with the decking um, and the cross beams underneath us. Uh, I also helped lay out the restrainer cables up above you, which then turn into the handrails partway through. All of what you see here we have done manually without any real mechanical tools. So it makes a huge difference. We've been building this ramp by hand, hauling rocks, hand by hand, throwing them to each other in a line, building assembly lines, rolling it in. We, 
We're very inefficient. We probably handled each rock three or four times. <laughs> so, which drives the Americans a little bit crazy, but that's, you know, the way it's done here. We tend to uh, whine about uh, a lot of things, and I, I think the, uh, you see here that uh, sometimes you just gotta get things done. And the ramps obviously still aren't done, but people already with the rivers filling up were bringing their bikes across. So it just goes to show how much they actually need this. A lot of this things kind of brought uh, memories of, of what my childhood was. And uh, so great to, uh, to see an organization that's given back to, to make the life uh, so easy for, for the community. It's really enjoyable to have a chance to be part of the culture, get to know the people here and see what we're doing as a company in different places around the world and the impact it has. For me, the whole purpose of being here is just giving these people an opportunity for a better life. When we see people crossing it and not getting wet and being able to go to the other side and uh, take their bikes across, uh, it's, it's a great feeling. Well, I'm home from Nicaragua, I'm walking across this pedestrian bridge that's just down the street from my home in Seattle. The streets over here across some railroad tracks drops you off at a park by the ocean. This bridge here, well, it's used mostly for recreation, but the bridge that we just saw built in Nicaragua, well, it's really essential for the life of the community. So I wanted to share this story with you. I really think it's cool how this organization is using engineering and bridges to connect people in our kinetic village. Take a look at the links in the description below and uh, check out Bridges to Prosperity. I know that they would appreciate it. I would appreciate it if you shared this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel. I guess that's it. We'll see you next time. I want to thank Bridges to Prosperity and the industry team from Trailer Brothers and Koei. This uh, project didn't happen because of something for my work. It was really a passion project and one of the members of the team donated frequent flyer miles and the team helped me out with uh, housing and food while I was there and I really appreciate that.